What's up, YouTube? Welcome back. Got another great episode for you guys tonight. This one's very mixed. Uh, got some new stuff on it. Uh, some stuff that I've wanted to put out but haven't had the chance to. But So we've got kind of a, a bit of a congl conglomerate of various topics on here. But some things, uh, some of these things... I know a good bit about so uh let's just get into it but do me a favor uh it doesn't cost you a thing remember it's free to like subscribe hit that notification bell uh share with your friends share with your loved ones let's get this awareness out to everyone because that's the only way we can be successful in getting this information out i don't want to make anyone biased at all so don't listen to me don't listen to the videos, but if it plants the seed and it helps you get somewhere to where you can research and do your own thinking and, you know, make your own opinions up, that's what I want. That's what we need. We need more people out there spreading this awareness. So do me a favor. Do that. I'd appreciate it very much. Boosting the numbers up on the algorithm gets this out there to more people and that's all I want. Also, this is for entertainment purposes only, and none of this is real. It's all fake. In fact, we're in a simulation. <laughs> Alright, let's get into it. German that says what do you see this I, I do not believe that these are footsteps of giants i don't know why anyone would think these were footsteps i do think that these were megalithic trees that i do believe 
I mean, the oxygen, you know, the, the oxygen was, you know, five times what it is now, you know, millions of years ago. That's why everything was so much larger. And, yeah, we had multiple races of giants. Um, that, that's just fact. I'll tell you one interesting thing that I've seen that really just... It was beautiful to see. So there was this man. I can't remember the name, and if I and if I can find it, I will definitely share it with you all. So there was this man that came to, you know, what's now known as America, but he came here a thousand years ago, and he was a talented artist. He could draw everything that he saw. So he was drawing all the different cultures and people and you know their different cultures wore different things so he was drawing all of them he would draw like one one that's really stuck out to me was he had excuse me he had these two women who were dressed in a you know very specific fashion and uh to whatever their culture was you know we don't have history that that says anything about this but he drew it so you have two women that are both about 15 feet tall and then you have the house behind them and then you have a man that's you know normal size like you know five and a half six feet tall but these women are both you know uh taller than the house and you know they've got uh, bags with food on them and they're just posing for him to draw and at first the first couple of images I was like is this a you know they're they're more forward and he's backwards thing or you know what is this nope not at all he was drawing them at scale and he was a very talented artist I wish I could find those again. Uh, I have them on another hard drive somewhere, but it would be hard to find. I didn't label them, so it would be hard to find which one. But I will find it and show you guys. That was very, uh, it's just very beautiful to see that. You know, it, was, it wasn't anything like you would think. It wasn't strictly Native Americans. It wasn't one or two things. <laughs> It was uh, many, many cultures, you know. Uh, he had a book, and there was maybe 150 pages in the book, and he's just drawing all of these different cultures and how they dress, how they look, you know, and there, there was a lot here. <laughs> Tree stump.
I just want to interject right here. So, this picture you see to the left, that's supposed to be Yeshua, or Jesus, Christos, you know, Christ, the Anointed One. And then, I guess that's supposed to be God to the right. That's Caesar Borgias. I, I said this in my last video, that's Caesar Borgias. So, he was a... Um, he was one of the sons of a pope in at the Vatican, and uh, he was having a relationship with, uh, I want to say Da Vinci and someone else. But anyways, um, his father decided to take the, not full but almost African because they they're, they were in the tip of North Africa you know so they wanted to take all of the images of what Jesus really looked like and replace it with his son Caesar and and that's what he did as Pope he was able to do that so they rid they completely rewrote history and so this person that you see on the left, you know, there's there's some version of this that everybody sees, and that's who they grow up thinking Christ is, especially if you don't read the Bible, and you don't read about, you know, uh, his uh, hair that was like steel wool, and, you know, the color of his skin and all, and where he, you know, the fact that he was in North Africa, and what the people look like there. But yeah, this is this is Caesar Borgias, and you should you should look it up. The Borgias were a really, really fucked up family. He killed his own brother. You know they were raping and marrying their own sisters and stuff. It's, it's real, uh, real normal for that time, but really fucked up stuff. So. That's who you're looking at, so never think that that's who the Anointed One is. I guess there's no sound to this. Yes, these vehicles were real, and they were real big people driving them, just like those giant doors you see, you know, from the middle of the century, you know, the, well, not even the middle, it goes back, you know, 1,500, 2,000 years. But you've got these, you know, 30, 40, 50 foot doors, and, the handle of them sits 15 feet high, you know, 15 to 20 feet high, just to open the door. But there are these massive doors, 
Those weren't made by us or for us. Those were made by a specific, well, a few specific races. And yeah, they don't want you all to be privy to that information because it would destroy the foundations of so many religions, which is how they control you. I gotta see it one more time, sorry. I guess everybody's just jumping on that hole. So, some titles say it's an NPC, other titles say they're trying to be AI, but they don't. I don't, I don't really have any words. I mean, it just looks stupid. I mean, it's it's definitely funny. And I could see why people are wanting to, like, you know, throw a bunch of stuff at them to see if they break character or whatever, but their character's not even that good to begin with. So, you know, the ones in the U.S. are the best, but they make so much money in that, though. I mean, if... I don't know if I've read uh, a couple of people's profiles that were down talking it and then said don't get mad when I start doing it and then they start doing it and one girl made $700 in three hours it's pretty good money to me I don't make $700 in three hours so it's pretty good money but I mean jeez like <laughs> you don't have any dignity either after that I mean you're just basically a troll or a meme or a combination of the two you're a dream <laughs> This is titled Bird in Antarctica. Um, Admiral Bird had a gag order on him. When he came back from Antarctica and started to debrief what he experienced, he had a gag order and he kept a diary and then he told his son about it all when he was on his deathbed because he had his security clearance and, and I even know from having a top secret security clearance for most of my life that you cannot talk about that and they told him not to talk about it this is not Admiral Byrd stuff and this is not even in Antarctica I don't know where this is it's interesting but it's definitely not in Antarctica and it's not Admiral Byrd, so I just don't want you guys to be fooled by the title. It, it actually looks very Mayan, if you ask me. It looks extremely Mayan. 
even that coastline right there looks very Mayan. The all of the architecture looks very Mayan. And some of it's probably not, but I guarantee you the majority of this is Mayan. <laughs> That's, uh, those are the symbols of Quetzalcoatl, uh, the snake god, in, in Mayan or Majan. <laughs> like Star Wars, the big uh, Arctic rover things, excuse me, just inverted colors. <laughs> spirit animal my entire life has been a griffin from the age of three i was drawing griffins before i even knew what one was but you know i did grow up in very old school traditional germany so we had things like the grim fairy tales we had saint nikolaus instead of your santa claus we had you know, that's where you get saint nick from you know but we had saint nikolaus and he also had a an evil brother and so you know we would take the branches off of the pussy willow trees and then put them in our shoes and put the shoes outside and we would put twine on them and you know uh if you were good you got candies and little things you know little treats but if you were bad, he would take you away in this big bag. He would just come kidnap you and take you away and just beat the hell out of you. You'd never be seen again. I mean, like the real grim fairy tales in general. I, st I still have the books. Like, <laughs> it, it's so, uh, it's, it's meant to keep you in line as a child, as a, as, as a German child. It's meant to keep you in line and it definitely works.
I can confirm that in the 17 and 1800s, they did have electric vehicles. They had a barn, and you would see those little, uh, not like the the Ford Model T's, but you would see these things that are similar to them, but a bit, a bit newer looking, and you would see them all plugged up. And they ran on electricity. You had people that had electric scooters. Same thing. They would plug up. And they all ran on electricity. This is all done. Uh, it was shown at, at the Chicago Fair. You know, you see a lot of videos where you see this amazing architecture. That they say that they built for a few months. And then just tore it all down. They didn't build it though. They were not the builders of that. Not at all. It would be... We would be hard-pressed today to do any of that. You're talking about granite, marble, the degree of difficulty that it would take to make something so exacting. It's like the pyramids. If, if somebody was hired today to say, replicate you know, the Great Pyramid of Giza. Just build that one. Could not be done. There's there's no possible way. We could probably start it, but when you're talking about, you know, the degree of difficulty to where you cannot get a sheet of paper through it, no. You're not you're not gonna be those tolerances are higher than the tolerances on a NASA shuttle. And I know that for a fact because I've worked on a few and satellites. So, yeah, we could not do that today. It, it would... God, I don't, I don't even know what it would take. It, it would take a lot to try to even get it built. But if you're talking about getting it built and then with the chambers inside to where it looks like you know they have these giant granite cases it seems like it was built around that because there's no entry or exit point that's large enough for that to come in or out and there's not even enough room for people to carry it no well, we definitely could not do that so this is all representative of right here, your pineal gland. Some cultures refer to it as the acorn. That's why you see acorns. But the pineal gland, the third eye, that's what the elites, the, you know, one percenters have been trying to keep us from is our power. And this is something I don't just believe I know is a fact so all it and, and there's been people that just don't pay attention because it's not televised and it's not popular but plenty of doctors have gone to bat since the 80s saying that fluoride does nothing but calcify the pineal gland it's and it also uh, lowers testosterone in men it does no good. There is no reason for it. But if any of you were uh, an 80s baby like me, you remember, you know, having fluoride in school to rinse out with, you know, and it's literally pointless. But that's what they're trying to depict. They're depicting the pineal gland. I don't like that the popes are talking about it, but... You know, they've got their own country and their own stuff. But the Anunnaki above with what looks like an acorn and then all of these acorns. It's the pineal gland right here, your third eye. 
to the trees and ferns shown as we are today. Yeah. The enigma of the Anunnaki bracelets. What are they? Communication devices or teleportation devices or maybe even something to control the workers digging for gold. Who knows? <laughs> Let me know down in the comments. Do you believe in mermaids? Do you think they existed? I 1000% believe they existed, but I don't think they are what Disney and all these other things have told you that they are. Um, in Europe, I used to, uh, my father, you know, got me into collecting lots of things stamps, maps, coins, you know, uh, a lot of things. And older maps were a favorite of mine uh sailors the privateers uh before they were pirates the privateers they would map out you know these are coming from uh england so they would map out different places and they would have <clears throat> i think i said this on one of my other videos they would have uh you know mapped out areas and islands that no longer exist but they would say you know sirens live here stay away from here uh mermaids are here stay away from this area because there are a lot of mermaids that will try to take you down with them so and you know uh you had these crazy scientists coming up later on that were just saying that you know oh they've been on a boat too long they're drunk you know too much rum you know uh not enough food they're all hallucinating no i don't i'm sure that happened quite a bit but you're talking an admiral would have these maps created by a map maker on each ship so it's not like one person saw this this was seen and witnessed by many people on every ship in the fleet and they all had to agree on it to give it to the king at the time of england so yeah i definitely believe that mermaids existed now do i think that they look anything like what people think you know pretty long hair human no the the research i've seen they have this big crest in the middle of their forehead that's the one way you can tell that they are real and you know they're 
they're humanoid, but they're not like humans. You know, the only reason they're like humans is because they're humanoid. You know, they have two arms, an upper torso, but the bottom torso isn't legs. You know, but also they have echolocation that they can use. Teeth are not like ours. Their jaws are not like ours. Brains are not like ours. You know, there's lots of reasons. photos of this entire library. I cannot remember where it's from, but I have photos of the entire inside of it somewhere. This is just amazing. It is absolutely astonishing. I mean, look how high that goes. Just rows and rows and rows. I grew up with about uh, between a three and five thousand book library in my house growing up in Germany. And, you know, these obviously came from my parents. I didn't buy them. But, um, and I've still got, you know, maybe two thousand or so of those books left. Uh, a lot of them. <laughs> I got rid of it at some point, but yeah, this is just absolutely amazing. Just, you know, but you have to remember that it was a huge privilege back then to know how to read and write. So the library was only open to those that could read, and it's a class system, so you know, not very many people in the lower class knew how to read unless they were around somebody from the upper class that taught them how to read. Um, it was the same with Bibles in the Catholic Church, you know. Um, only the people in the Vatican knew how to read. The normal people didn't know how to read. <laughs> and that same, that same exercise exists today if you go to a catholic church you will see that most of the catholics have no idea what's in the bible they might have a few things that they know a few verses here and there 
but they don't read their Bible. They depend on everything from the actual leadership of Catholicism. You know, their bishops, their priests, these people, you know, who they go to confessional with or for. Um, but yeah, they don't, they don't read. And it's, that's come, you know, 2,000 years into now. It's still the same way. It's horrible, you know. Uh, the, the people weren't taught how to read. They didn't know how to read. That was a very high compliment if you knew how to read and write, you know. And that was usually held for the people at the top. And in those days, the Vatican, just like now, is at the top. You know, so they can do things that no other people can do. They probably can do. They don't have the resources for it. <laughs> I've got a bit of a cold. It's past my bedtime, too. But I'm doing this for you guys. going to be fake I can tell you that now back in the mid 2000s somewhere around 2006 2007 uh, right before I started traveling for NASA um, they were finding giant remains in different parts of the world and Sicily was a place where they were finding them so I decided to take a flight out there you know Sicily's not far at all from where I'm from so caught a flight to Germany you know got a rental and drove down to Italy went to Sicily I had some family I hadn't I've only met once down there so I went down there and word kind of gotten around that I wanted to see some giant bones and this is something not I haven't even told a lot of people about but um, the Smithsonian had come down and pretty much confiscated, since they're a government entity, you know, U.S. government entity, they have carte blanche over any dig that's brought up, meaning they have, they can completely control it. So, even back then, they were being known as taking all of this stuff and then nobody sees it again. And I met a guy, and he knew what I was looking for, and he showed me a five-foot femur bone from a human, and five-foot femur bone, you're looking at between 17 and 22 feet tall, but it definitely was a femur bone, and, you know, I'm not an archaeologist at all. Um, I was pre-med before I switched to engineering and architecture. So I know, you know, I have a little bit of knowledge that I still try to keep sharp in certain areas. But, you know, I, I quit that and switched. But, yeah, definitely a human femur bone. And the people in the local area, not only did they know about that kind of stuff, they had known about it for centuries. But then you have the Smithsonian coming in and just taking and destroying. And that's why they're going under all of these massive lawsuits right now. <laughs>
thought Tartaria was pretty much Eastern Europe, uh, what Russia now is, but a bit larger. It engulfed mostly all of Eastern Europe, a bit of Asia as well. That's what I've always known the Tartarian Empire to be. And yeah, they were much more advanced, but, you know, uh, there's just so much that's convoluted there and people make these videos and they make the maps bigger on one side to make it look like the Tartarian Empire was you know almost everything you know in Europe which is obviously not true uh, so yeah you've got to really do your research to find out but it did exist and it was it, it, was, it was very advanced for its time Quetzalcoatl, Poseidon, Hades, Diablo, Satanas, Jesus. Okay, that's one row. Inanna, Ishtar, which is Easter, Astarte, Isis, Ixchel, I don't know if that's right, Aphrodita, it's probably Aphrodite. Uh, Dunga Kali, so the creator of, well, the destroyer and the creator. Freya. And then Enlil. Marduk. I thought Marduk was Inki. So how is Marduk and Marduk, Enlil, and Inki? Uh, Adlere. Yehovah. Can't read that next one. Tez Ketlipoka, Zeus, Ali, Dios Biblico. Okay, I wouldn't put any stock into how they're trying to structure this. It's a bunch of BS. I know the names that I can pronounce and I know where they originate from and they're not lined up like this. Do your own research. Look it up. <laughs>
That's not Tartaria, that's Chicago. Men in black had those. I've never seen the baby version. That's pretty dope. <laughs>
Dacă imaginez că așa ar dovedi că sunt bune, s-a schimbat toată... Nu știu, toată gândirea vreună. you guys enjoyed that i've got to get to bed it's already an hour past my bedtime and i do work at nine to five i've got to be up early in the morning uh i hope you enjoyed this let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this type of content i didn't get to maybe five or six different topics that i wanted to do so i'll get to that tomorrow i promise you guys that uh but yeah, I just want to expose you to the different things that are out there, the different theories. There's there's many interesting theories. There's many things that you will just innately know whether that's right or not. You know, you don't need anyone to tell you. You're born with this innate moral compass. Most people are, unless you've got a psychological issue to where you can't tell that. But, yeah, I really wanted to get into that, but we can do that tomorrow. Hope you guys enjoyed this. But, honestly, your comments mean the most to me. Just let me know uh, what you think of it. If you want something different. If you want to go to... I had some other, you know, stuff from, like, chills on here. Some scary stuff. Scary stuff, you know. But uh, there was some actually really good scary stuff. So, we'll do that tomorrow. But, you know, I can't thank you guys enough. We just broke 100 followers. Thank you so much. I could not be any more proud of, you know, the uh, of the support and, you know, just everything. I, I really appreciate it. Remember, like, subscribe, comment. Your comments mean a lot to me. Honest to God, that, that means so much to me. And share this with your friends and your loved ones. And remember, I have a lot of experience in a lot of areas because I've done a lot of things. But don't listen to me. I'm giving you my perspective. I'm really good at putting myself in other people's shoes so I can see others' perspectives. But when I speak to you guys, I'm speaking from only my perspective, no one else's. And I'm not saying that's right. I'm just giving you a ledge to kind of you know jump off with you know jump off in this section go here and read jump off to this section go here and research whatever interests you you know it's you have it here you have it at your fingertips do your research don't listen to me don't listen to anyone if i don't know anything about it i'll i'll tell you if something pops up and it's you know blah 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 and i've never heard of it i will just straight up tell you hey i i don't know what the fuck this is you know 
Let's let's look it up together. We can even do that. I'll show you how I search. I'll show you how I look things up and how meticulous I am about, you know, how I research. But I just want to plant the seed for you guys to research for yourselves. I don't want to create any bias in any in anyone. But I do want you to do your own research. So on that note, got to get to bed so I can be up in the morning just like I'm sure the rest of you do. So it's been a good one. Unfortunately, I couldn't go as long as I wanted because I had another like two hours loaded up of stuff I haven't seen, but we will definitely do that tomorrow. So I appreciate you all and I will see you tomorrow.